So, what is DNA? What is the deal with the recombinant DNA technology and why does it so important in our world? Well, to begin with, let us know what is DNA. Everyone has it, every animal has it. Well, to keep it short, let's just say every living thing has a DNA. It is deoxyribonucleic acid. Our genetic information is stored within this DNA. All organisms on Earth evolve from a common ancestor. So all organisms use DNA as the molecule of heredity. At the chemical level, DNA is the same whether it is taken from a microscopic bacterium or a blue whale. As a result, DNA from different organisms can be cut paste together, resulting in recombinant DNA. Basically, a recombinant DNA technology is the joining together of DNA molecules from two different species that are inserted into a host organisms to produce new genetic combinations that are of value to many fields of life. So next, we're going to go into further details of each of the applications that can be done using this DNA recombinant technology. The first one is Therapeutic cloning can involve recombinant DNA technology or molecular cloning. A segment of DNA from one organism is introduced into the DNA of a second organism, yielding a hybrid or recombinant DNA molecule. The hybrid DNA molecule is then introduced into a host organism in which it can be rapidly replicated and expressed to produce proteins of commercial or medical importance. The first such protein to be marketed commercially was human insulin, which is a small protein having fewer than 100 amino acids and which was manufactured in E. coli bacteria as the host organism. The first agricultural protein made from recombinant DNA bovine growth hormone was approved for use in 1994 and is given to approximately 25% of cows in the United States. Other recombinant DNA products used in medicine include tissue plasminogen activator used as an anticoagulant in the treatment of heart attack and stroke victims. Bacteria cells as hosts are not able to execute the readout of many human genes and the genes of many other eukaryotic organisms and the eukaryotic host cell must be used. Animals that carry cells must be used. Animals that carry genetically engineered heritable genes are called transgenic. Transgenic animals have included lactating mammals such as sheep, goats, cows, and pigs. Most commonly, an animal is engineered to produce a large quantity of a particular human protein in its milk. A widely used technique includes injecting a segment of DNA, human or animal, that contains the appropriate human gene into an embryo and then implanting the embryo in a surrogate mother. If the technique is, is successful, the milk of the matured animal will contain active human protein in sufficient amounts to be valued. A herd of genetically engineered animals could then be produced using this technique or possibly eventually via reproductive cloning. Next, I will explain about the application of recombinant DNA technology in medicine. Recombinant DNA technology has made it possible to treat different diseases by inserting new genes in place of damage and disease genes in the human body. It has brought many revolutionary changes in the field of medicine and introduced such methods of treating diseases and delivering the drug which were just imaginary. Recombinant DNA technology in medicine also a series of procedures that are used to join together DNA segments. A recombinant DNA molecule is constructed from segments of two or more different DNA molecules. Under certain conditions, a recombinant DNA molecules can enter a cell and replicate there either on its own or after it has been integrated into chromosome. I have chose two examples of recombinant DNA technology in medicine. Example number one is insulin. Insulin, as we know, is a hormone which made up of protein. It is secreted in the pancreas 
by some cells called as islet cells. Insulin also responsible for controlling the glucose level in humans. For example, if a person has decreased amount of insulin in his body, he will suffer from a disease called diabetes. Recombinant DNA technology has allowed the scientists to develop human insulin by using the bacteria as a host cell and it is also available in the market. It is believed that the drugs produced through microbes are safer than the drugs produced traditionally. Example number 2 which is interferon. Interferon is a glycoprotein which has the ability to block the multiplication or division of viruses in the cell or in the nearby cells. Interferon also can be used to treat cancer like hairy cell leukemia. Thus, recombinant DNA technology produces this protein using a bacteria called E. coli. For example, interferon alpha is used to treat lymphoma and myelogenous leukemia. The next application of recombinant DNA technology is in forensic science. It helps the human beings in investigation system to fight against crime and sort out civil disputes. When a person commits a crime, for instance, rape or murder, he or she will leave behind small amounts of skin, blood, saliva, semen, hair, nails, or anything else at the crime scene or on the victim. We can extract the tiny amount of human DNA presence from the crime stains and amplify it before using DNA fingerprinting to identify them. What is DNA fingerprinting? Well, it is a method for genetically identifying an individual and defining their genetic relationship to other individuals or in a simple word, to distinguish individuals with DNA analysis. The DNA from a biological sample left at the scene of a crime can be analyzed and compared with the DNA of likely suspects. A match between evidence and a particular individual is helpful to the prosecution. It can also be used to determine whether individuals have been wrongly convicted of a crime. For DNA fingerprinting, there are two techniques involved. First one is DNA hybridization. This approach relies on DNA hybridization to undergraded mini-satellite DNA. It is called Restriction Fragment Length Polymorphisms, aka RFLP. Second one is Polymerase Generation or PCR, which is a technique used in molecular biology to amplify a single copy or a few copies of a segment of DNA across several orders of magnitude generating thousands to millions of copies of a particular DNA sequence. This technique is faster than the previous one. The use of PCR application for STR, which stands for short tender repeats, sequence what makes it faster and a lot more convenient and highly reliable. What is GMO? A GMO or genetically modified organism is a plant, animal, microorganism or other organism whose genetic makeup has been modified using recombinant DNA method, gene modification or transgenic technology. This relatively new science creates unstable recombinant of plant, animal, bacteria and viral genes that do not occur in nature or through traditional crossbreeding methods. The most specifically defined type of GMO is transgenic organism. This is an organism whose genetic makeup has been altered by the addition of genetic material from unrelated organism. This should not be confused with the more general way in which GMO is used to classify genetically altered organism as typically GMOs are organisms whose genetic makeup has been altered without the addition of genetic material from an un unrelated organism. Process of genetic modification First step, identify a trait of interest. Second step, isolate the genetic trait of interest. Third step, insert the desired trait into the new genome. In this step, there are two methods which using gene gun to shoot DNA coated material particle into seed and at other methods its genetic trait is cut and pasted into plasmid using enzyme. The plasmid inserted into the bacteria then infect the cell. The last step is growing the gem GMO. In this step, carefully controlled growth chambers are monitored to ensure the new GMO grows and replicates. 
ultimate growth conditions are determined at this stage. In terms of food industrial, the DNA recombinant technology plays an important role in the production of food nowadays. The food processing enzymes from recombinant microorganisms are used in the production of foods such as cheese. Enzymes which are traditionally isolated from culturable microorganisms, plants, and mammalian tissues are often not well adapted to the conditions used in modern food production methods. That's why we need recombinant DNA technology steps in manufacture novel enzymes suitable for specific food processing conditions. But how? We can do it by screening microorganisms sampled from diverse environments and we can do modification of non-enzymes using modern methods of protein engineering. Example Cumosin, it also known as renin, single polypeptide chain of 323 amino acids. It possesses two different types of chemosin which is A and B. The main coagulating enzyme found in Rennet, which is used in extensively in cheese production. So I would like to talk briefly on the making of cheese using this method. First, gene for chemosin are isolated from cow DNA and then the plasmid DNA is cut open with restriction enzymes. Then we have to combine these two which is the chemosin DNA and plasmid DNA with the aid of ligase. Put the recombinant DNA into bacteria through the process of transformation. Chemosin protein is expressed in bacterial cells. After that, the chemosin protein was isolated and it is used to make cheese. So the advantages, the improvement of microbial production, it increased the enzyme yield by deleting native genes and codes extracellular proteases and fungal production strains have been modified to reduce or eliminate their potential for producing of toxic secondary metabolites.